This is the DJI Air 2S. It is newly announced, brand new, just arrived at my house, and I love it, I have to say. This is the Flymore Combo Kit. I always have appreciated the Flymore Combos. They always pack just enough of what you need. That includes the awesome bag you're seeing here. It, it has two batteries, as well as the neutral density filters, and easy charging hub. So basically, you can just throw everything in the one bag, and off you go. Whether you're traveling, whether you're a local photographer, whether you're going somewhere else, it's, it's a really cool kit. So in here we've got the batteries, we've got the charging setup, everything you need to kind of get up in the air. First step is when you buy this, charge everything up. That's always the, the first advice. And then once everything's charged, connect everything, update the firmware, update the apps, get everything ready. Before I go out to fly anytime, I always go through the app and try and figure out things that I might not know, things that are new, different, anything like that. So I don't fly it in my house, but it is the first step before I head out anywhere so that there's no surprises. So check out the controller. This is one of DJI's best controllers. They've used it before with other drones and it is fantastic. It's a great weight, size, battery lasts a huge long time. And on top of that, it has a great range. Of course, then there's the drone. The Air 2S has a lot of upgrades from the previous Air 2 last year. You've got a one inch sensor now, 20 megapixel sensor as well. It can shoot up to 5.4 Ultra, 5.4K Ultra HD video or 4K 60 frames per second video and includes DJI 03, which is the OcuSync 3 system. They've just renamed it 03. With four antennas, it can reach up to 12 kilometer range. And check out all the sensors. So this, the obstacle avoidance system now can do forward, backward, upward, and downward. So if you're flying and you've got it, say, tracking a subject, which the tracking has been hugely improved, it's amazing. Uh, it will now avoid obstacles in that path. Or if you're just flying and, no offense, slightly oblivious, you can have it set so that it'll avoid obstacles or it'll just stop so that you're not gonna have any incidents. So, great drone, a little bit bigger than the original Air, obviously. Uh, it's an improvement over the Air 2, Air 2 from last year. I love these neutral density filters for anyone flying midday or bright sunlight. Easy way to get the f-stop exactly where you want it. Attaches very easily. You literally just turn the, fil the filter on the edge of the sensor and put the new one on in place of it. So it turns left and then the new one goes on and turns right. And of course it has the easy propellers. You can match them up very easily, the orange to the orange. And then the other ones in the middle, you'll look there, no, no orange, so just black. You just put those on the other ones. And two of them go clockwise and two of them go counterclockwise. So that's literally just to get them on there so that they'll stay on there when you're flying. Um, really simple setup. The whole thing took me less than maybe 10 minutes for the whole setup. So basically get the propellers on, charge up your batteries, Get your software updated, firmware, all that stuff. Highly recommend. So it's a pretty simple setup. Uh, if you've flown any of the other DJI drones, very similar, uh, flies really easily. Uh, take off in a couple seconds and off you go. Uh, in terms of features, there's a bunch of new stuff in the Air 2S. Master Shots is one of the big ones, so capture subject automatically, uh, basically with a preset flight route. So you can set that for proximity, portrait, and landscape, and edit it within the app. I haven't actually tried this yet. It wasn't working for me in the test app, but it sounds incredible. You also have 10-bit D-Log videos and raw format photos with a dy dynamic range up to 12.6 f-stops. So that's huge for any photographers who like to do a bit of editing. Uh, ISO range, 100 to 6,400 automatically or manually, you can set it all the way up to 12,800. And photos, either three by two or 16 by nine. So lots of options, very cool kit. 
Biggest thing I haven't mentioned yet, digital zoom. Up to three, three times in 5.4K mode. So basically, you can zoom in twice, up to three times. I, I haven't gone through all my footage yet. I would say that at two times, it still looks really good. I haven't really had a chance to review what it looks at three times. But uh, that's it. What do you think? What's, what are your questions? Anything you'd like to know, let me know, and I will respond. Just drop a comment down below, and I'll get back to you. Stay tuned for more footage. I will be shooting with this for the next few weeks, so I'll have lots of footage on my channels. Thanks for watching.